Hello everyone, and welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders 2. In the last episode, we made our upgraded buggy buggy, and it can fly. However, in order to make it fly, N04H didn't make it through the fight. So, he told us to take his components and put it in. And we did. So he's still technically here, but he can't talk. And we got here to the castle of Hargon, where we're going to find Maroth. And, uh, hopefully bring him back. Um, oh, yeah, and the hairy hermit was like, Hey, how you doing? So, he told us to, um, oh, there's stairs, okay. Follow the blue flames. Oh, hey, look, it's a throne. Wait, can I steal this? <gasps> I can. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you. <laughs> so, we're to follow the blue flames. Welcome, stranger. Who dares step foot inside my fortress? Is that you, Builder? It is. This is no place for your pathetic, powerless creation such as... Creatures such as you. Wriggling away whence you came, worm. Oh, wriggle away whence you came, worm. Or suffer the full force of my wrath. Nope. We are not. The hairy hermit told us to just keep running past no matter what you throw at us. So that's what we're doing. Running past. Okay. Um, follow the blue flames. That is not where the blue flames are. They go this way. Okay. Alright. Alright. So. He said just to run past and leave them in our wake, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So, you overcome my first servant, Atlas's shadow darkness, may my halls no more? Perhaps I may have use for you after all, cleaning the detritus from my dungeons. However, your efforts would only be in vain. All will be reduced to nothingness soon enough. Hmm. Okay, what's next? Um, if Atlas was- Whoa. Next. Whoa. Okay, you are one angry monkey. We are going to run past. Ugh. Good. You have outstripped my second servant, too. The storm of Pazuza's anger has been silenced. My thanks, Builder. The castle is a little quieter now. All the better for savoring the sound of your destruction. Hmm. Ooh, Malif definitely was this way. <laughs> definitely was this way. Wow. <laughs> Poor guy. I mean... All of this from his body. It's kind of gruesome if you think about it. Oof. Oh, it's you. Okay. Okay, goodbye. And now my third servant is defeated. Belial's shadow has ceased its bellowing. I had no need for him, nor the others for that matter. They were not but keepsakes of a bygone age. They exceed their usefulness long ago. As have you, Builder, you are nothing more than an irritation. Be gone from this place if you value what little time you have left. I'm not leaving without Mauroth. Whoa! Oh, jeez. That legit scared me. Mm. Wait, which way are we going? Oh, we are going this way. Alright. Oh, there must be a warp pipe. Not warp pipe. 
Um, where, where are we? Aha. Hello. I thought I told you to leave. What business can a magnet like you possibly have with a high priest Argon? I'm here for Mauroth. <laughs> Perchance you came in hope of defeating Lord Mauroth in battle. Yes. You truly believe you have what it takes to best the mighty master of destruction? <laughs> it would seem you have not lost your sense of humor, though you have certainly forgotten your lowly station. You are no hero. You are not but a drudge. A dog's body? Mm. And yet you dare to defy the master of destruction and his almighty hardy priest. <laughs> Most amusing. Lord Mauroth has already awakened and is a little preoccupied with putting his new found powers to work at this moment. However, if your heart is still set on seeing him, I am sure I could arrange an introduction. Do you want to summon Maroth? Yes. Does Bob feel bad? Hey, Amanda. Did you want to see me? It's been a while, huh? I'm glad you came. You see, I never got to thank you. For turning me back into the master of destruction. Mauroth, this isn't you. Mauroth, his terrifyingly true form. I enjoyed hanging out with you, and I never forgot all the fun we had on the Isle of Awakening. But building stuff never really suited me, you know. Destruction was always more my thing. Tell you what, as a little thank you for helping me find my true self, I think I'll eat you. What could be more perfect ending to an excellent adventure? Now come here, Amanda, and prepare to be consumed. Uh. Oh boy. What did I get myself into? I don't know, but uh, um, <laughs> I'm going to grab some food. How much does HP does it... Uh, oh, restores 50. Okay. 10, 20. Okay, I'm gonna need them. <laughs> Defeat the monster Mauroth has become. Yep. Mm, this is gonna be a fight. Ugh. Can I actually... No, I can't. Okay. I was wondering if I could uh, hit him, but I cannot. Okay. Okay. He hits pretty good, but it's not detrimental. But I think I will eat a little something. He's gonna take a bit. Okay, 15 arrow. Alright, you know what? I'm seriously just tempted to, like, just stand here and take it. But then I'm like, eh, I kinda don't want to. Wait. Amanda, you're always such a wimp. How how did you get so strong? No, it's it's not you. It's me. There's something inside me, tearing me apart. What what have you done? Grah! You'll pay for this, Amanda. You'll pay. My wrath is in agony. Huh? That's great. Then I will. Ooh, nice. I will just keep wailing on him then. Okay, okay, but that was really good. Uh, I don't know what that. Whoa. Oh, jeez. Okay, I can jump on over that. All right. 
Cool, 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 cool. Um, let's not. Ooh. Okay. Ow. Getting closer. I'm just gonna take a couple hits. Oh no, I'm not taking that. I'm not taking that. Oh, I took it. Oh, that actually wasn't too bad. Um, did he just summon fire and... Whoa. Grrrr! Oh. Lord Malroth? How could this be? You are the master of destruction. This pathetic creature should not be able to defeat you. Could... Wait. Could it be? Do the memories of the life you shared with the Builders still linger? Now, Amanda, this is your chance. You have to. Finish me. I'm happy. We got to say goodbye. No, Maroth! Do it, Amanda. Do it. Now! Maroth! I came to save you! I'm sorry. Mount Roth. Impossible. The master of destruction. Beaten by a base born builder. This. this cannot be! Mount Roth? There's no response. It's just a corpse. Maroth. But somewhere deep inside, Amanda can feel her friend's life force still flickering still. Amanda? Maroth? Maroth? Amanda? Maroth, I'm right here! I can't see anything. I can't feel anything. Oh, that's right. I'm dead. But there was something. Something important I had to do. I'm waiting for someone. I've been waiting and waiting. But why? For who? I remember. Yes, I remember. I'm waiting for Amanda. Amanda, where are you? Amanda! Can I not run? <laughs> Amanda, come on! Where are you? I'm running! I'm coming! Oh, I went too far. <laughs> The light feels somehow familiar. Reach out and touch it? Yes. Amanda, is that you? Amanda hears Maroth's voice. Maroth? Maroth! I'm here! Hi! Hey, Amanda. 
I had a feeling it was you. Ah, <sighs> you. But you should no longer exist. Thanks for keeping our promise. <sighs> that sword of yours is pretty sharp, you know. <sighs> hmm. Perhaps I underestimated how strong a friendship the foes had forged. The fools had forged. Amanda, we've got a lot to talk about, but that can wait. I think we need to teach this loony a little lesson first. Meddling builder, you'll regret crossing me. Whoa, what's, what's this? Something's not right. <laughs> yes. Yes! Long have I waited to be reborn. I have only one purpose. To destroy all I see before me. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. What is that? <gasps> Behold the master's true form. I thank you, Builder, for drawing your friend forth from this enfeebled form, for freeing his heart from that last pathetic vestige of humanity. Damn it. We've taken... We've been taken for a ride. My child. You were my weakness, but now I am free. My power has returned. The first thing I will destroy is you. Tell me, Hargon. What is your wish? To destroy this world of illusion? And then, the real one? Your appetite for destruction pleases me. It shall be done. At long last, Mendel, Ganok, and Moonbrook shall fall. Erased from existence, utterly destroyed. And this time, there is nothing, nothing that can be done to stop it. Where is this place? How did I even get here? The sky is such a strange color. Have I died and gone to heaven? Or hell, more likely. Wait! Where's Amanda? Uh. Oh. Uh. Okay, I can get there. I'm like, wait, how do I get there? I don't know. Oh no! Huh? Amanda, are you okay? Hey, Amanda, get up, will you? Come on, at least say something. What's this? Blood? Haha. <laughs> Nice one, Amanda. You had me going there for a second. But you can drop the act now. Oh. Amanda? Thank goodness, you're alive. You really had me worried. Huh? What? 
You need me to make you a dose of medicinal herb? Huh. Don't be silly. I can't make a thing. You know that. You've watched me try enough times. Huh? You know that the Master of Destruction couldn't make anything, but maybe I can? Ha! Ah, I see where you're coming from. All right, I'll give it a shot. Okay. Building stuff. Building stuff. Uh, how do I do this? Okay, game. Oh man, I can't run. At least I can jump. That's good. Uh, okay. Let's see here. Can we actually do this? Wow. It's so pretty over here. Um. Okay. This is one of those medicinal leaves, right? Now, what would Amanda do? She said to take it... She'd take it to a table or something. Ah, that'll do nicely. Let's give this a go. Come on, Malroth. You can do this. Let's make one. I've watched Amanda do this... Time, more times than I care to remember. She always started off like this. Damn it! Why can't I do this? No. I can't give up. I've got to get it another shot. Here it goes. Hopeless. I'm never going to do it. Trying to get a good shot of it. There we go. No, I have to keep trying. One more go. Build it! Come on, Malroth. Third time lucky. You've got to do this for Amanda's sake. Mmm. Uh, ha! Why isn't it working? Why? I have to keep trying. I have to. Grah! Don't give up, Balroth. This is getting beyond a joke now. No matter what I try, nothing works. Take this! Whoa! doing? Amanda never Amanda never built stuff like this. She always had a great smile on her face as she worked. And I always enjoyed watching her do it, too. Haha! Yeah. <laughs> yeah! This is more like it! Building is supposed to be fun! No building is fun! <laughs> yes, I think I'm getting it now. I've got to stop trying so hard. I've just got to have fun with it. Come on. This will work. It has to. Rah! I... 
I did it? I did it? I did it! Ha ha! Malroth attains a dose of medicinal herb. All right, let's go back and give this to Amanda. Yay, Malroth! You did it! I knew you could do it. I keep pressing the run button to run, and but he doesn't run, so. <laughs> you think he'd be overjoyed to go back and give it to her. <laughs> All right. Here you go. Amanda, I made the medicine herb you wanted. Here. Come on. That must have been some medicinal herb. Amanda, you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have you back. How are you feeling? Whoa there, don't get angry at me. What did I do? Well, if you put it like that, I suppose I did tell you I never wanted to see you again and then got yourself kidnapped by an ultimate ancient evil. <laughs> Sorry about that, Amanda. It won't happen again, I promise. Still, do you think you're overacting just a little bit? Go on. Turn that frown upside down. Yay! That's more like it. Smiling like an idiot suits you much better. Seriously, though, I'm sorry about what I said in Moonbrook. I didn't mean any of it. I was just lashing out. Yeah, there we go. Huh? What's that? What are those flashing lights about? I don't like the look of it one bit. I'll bet anything it's Hargon and his new best buddy getting up to no good. Yeah, up to no good. Well, that's gonna be it for- Are you still mad at me? Why are you turning your head? That was weird. Anyway, we got Malroth back. And that's gonna be it for this episode. In the next episode, we're going to save our world. See you guys then. And as always, keep on smiling. <laughs> <laughs>